So here's that bottom flange I was talking about. I did split mine right in here uh, for two reasons. Uh, it's good to note that after you weld all these seams, um, it's possible that the panel can warp up or down or whatever. Leaving that split right there, if this warps upward or downward, you can still adjust it to the inner fender well. It's just like a relief cut. So I leave that there for that reason so I can adjust it to the car. But also the uh, the template itself becomes really unruly, you know, flaps all around and all that because it curves down up underneath here. So uh, it just makes it easier to cut two parts, tack this piece on, then tack the front on there. But again, leave that, leave that thing loose so you can adjust up and down to the wheel well and to the uh, top of the quarter panel. So that's pretty much it. So my um, next step is to stitch all these edges. I'll keep it nice and cool. You can use water or air. Uh, I've been using air, I like air. So I'll stitch it uh, probably two thirds uh, of the way welded solid. Then I'll sand those welds flat and then I'll connect all the welds after the, uh, after the first round. And um, like I said, if this panel goes up and down, I can uh, keep track of it and watch it and I can adjust it with, uh, with that gap there. It seems to be all it needs. So this is probably the sixth or eighth set of these I've made and that's worked out really well for me. So uh, that's how I make these. Uh, I'm gonna install this one probably today and uh, I'll have to add some more sheet metal to that car. It's got a little bit more uh, damage on there than, um, than I thought. I had a lot of Bondo down in there. So uh, I'll make a video of that, of the finished product when I get done. And after that, we're going to fit cruiser skirts. So that's going to be cool.